In this image, you are able to identify VRM chip which is placed on circuit board and charging chip indicated by yellow circle line. With the steady declining cost and size of integrated circuit, it is now possible to include support or for in this image you are able to identify VRM chip which is placed on circuit board and charging chip indicated by yellow circle line. With the steady declining cost and size of integrated circuit, it is now possible to include support for many peripherals on the motherboard. Motherboard are generally air cooled with heat sinks and often mounted on large chip but in modern motherboard the insufficient cooling can cause damage to the internal component of the computer. This picture enables you identification of components in enlarged view. All the components and ICs are marked with arrow symbol with their names. You must note down these names so that you can learn the position and its functioning interrelated to each other. Let us study about these various components which are enlisted and shown in above images. The term socket refers to slot in which one or more microprocessor can be installed, also into which main memory is installed. In the case of CPU in BGA packets such as VIAC3, CPU is directly soldered to the motherboard. You have seen a chip paste in images are those which form a end boundary between the CPU front side, main memory and peripheral buses. The chip determines to an extent the feature and capability of the motherboard. Thus you can say motherboard is a microprocessor supporting chip which provide the supporting interfaces between the CPU and the various buses and external components. This chip determines the feature and capability of the motherboard. In the motherboard you can see in the motherboard you can see clock generator which make the system clock signal to coordinate the various components and slot are there for expansion card. Receiving of electrical power through computer power supply is done by power connector and share this power to the CPU, chip, main memory and expansion card in motherboard. It is to be noted that most disk drive also connect to power supply through committed connector other than power connector. In such way we can divide a motherboard in various sections related to its functioning. These sections are system power section, VRM section, battery section, RAM section. Let us study these sections in detail. The motherboard is very important piece of equipment in your laptop as it is connected to every component and part. In it every part is plugged straight into the board for its functioning. The very first section in which motherboard is cat categories is system power section. Every laptop power supply has special connector that attach to the motherboard, giving power to the system processor memory and all slotted add-on boards. By attaching this connector improperly, you can have devastating effects on your PC, including burning up both your power supply and motherboard. System power supply produces the current and signal needed for other unit in laptop to work on them. Now you can see the system power supply block diagram. Power of the processor comes from a device called the vol voltage regulator module which is built into the most modern motherboards. This device senses the CPU voltage requirement itself to provide the proper voltage to run the processor of laptop. What is VRM section? It is a section called as voltage regulator module section which senses microprocessor voltage requirement to run. VRM enables it to run on either 5 volts or 12 volts for input power. Let us study how to check this section. For this, first take out the CPU from the socket. The identifier ground is MOF set. Now search for the coil connected with the MOF set and gate connected with the VRM IC. After this search, MOF set connected with 18 voltage and perform. Checking operation on this MOF set. 
you can see the block diagram representing different parts of VRM section. Now let us study battery con section connection and identification. Here you can see have 5 points in battery connection. These are positive voltage, M data and M clock. Other 2 points are M temperature and ground. The voltage can be observed with these points. 0 0.70 volts, M data is equal to 3.7 volt, M clock is equal to 3.5 volt, M temperature that is 4.7 volts and ground. If we have a look on RAM section, random access memory module, you will find RAM MOSFET near RAM socket with mentioning pin number on it. Now search for 2.5 volts on RAM MOSFET. Next step is to rearrange the voltage in pin number 65. Search for data voltage and main voltage on respected pins. How to test a motherboard by analog and digital multimeter? Before going in digital, let us understand term analog and digital. Analog multimeter use a micrometer whose pointer moves over a scale calibrated for all the different measurements that can be made. Digital multimeter display the measured value in numerals and may also display a bar of a length proportional to the quantity being measured. How to test the DC voltages? You need to follow some simple steps to measure the DC voltage of laptop. Firstly, be sure that 20 pin ATX connector is there and the computer is hooked up to AC power. Now set your multimeter to 20 volts DC. After this search for the back side of the connector and put black probe in contact with pin 15, 16 and 17 which are ground pins. Now using a red probe measure voltage of the pin 9 that is purple VSB must be at 5 and pin 14 must be between 3 and 5 volts. After this you need to press the PC power switch where voltage drop to 0. Next is to use red prop to check the pin which has been above 2.5 volt. This signal show that is all correct for computer to start and then pressing reset should make the power ok reading which drop to zero and then scale back up. After this unplug the system from AC power and allow several minutes for surplus charge to drain. Set the multimeter to lowest OHM setting around 200 OHM and touch the leads of probes together to zero the meter. Now touch the two leads to the bare metal of the laptop and the zero reading should be the same. Now carefully remove ATX connector from motherboard and keep black probe on the metal of the Now carefully remove ATX connector from motherboard and keep black probe on the metal and utilize red LED to verify the PSU AC ground pin and black wire pin on the DC connector. These should all read zero. Next is to keep the black LED which also use the red prop to verify value of the colored wire pin on the DC connector. Here every colored wire should give a reading of 50 or greater. After performing above set function now remove CPU from the motherboard socket and use ATX20 pin chart to submit to pin number on the board connector. Remember to keep black lead and use red lead to check the GND pins on the motherboard connector. These pins are 3, 5, 7, 13, 15, 16 and 17 should return a reading of 0. If some other reading is shown on your multimeter in it means defective connector is there. In such a way you can adjust the voltage reading and resolve related issue. Thank you.